I'm going to show you how to spherize a cityscape image. Go into our image, right click on it, open with GIMP. This is a free program, so this is a very cool thing you can do with more expensive programs like Photoshop and Photoshop Elements and so on, but to do it for free, I think that's an added bonus. So first thing I want to do is go to the Ellipse Select Tool and then starting at the top slide oops let's try that again it's not working there we go starting at the top and then move it down at a diagonal and then we have our circle over the selected part of the image next thing I want to do is go to filters and go into distorts go down to spherize click on that and you notice we have our somewhat distorted image if you want to uh, change your angle of view see what happens a different type of image if you're not happy with that you go back to a different position let's see if I do it here okay that looks pretty good let's just go with that and say okay next I'm going to use the gradient tool okay we'll select that and you want to make sure that the black is on top here on the color selection. And I'm going to, starting from the lower right hand corner, bring it up, and nothing's happening. Why is that? Let's try that again. I don't know, maybe. Uh, Needed to click it. There we go. It's working now. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We'll just go ahead and click enter. And you could stop at this point, but if you want to give it more of a spherical look, you might want to use a little shading. And so I'm going to select the uh, first of all, go to the paintbrush and then drop down to airbrush. And let's see, we can just experiment with it. And let's try, uh, let's see, we have black selected right now. If I take this and go around, that works pretty good. Make it a little darker on the bottom. And I'm going to flip this now by clicking on this little uh, icon here. And now see, now white is the active foreground color. And I'm going to pick a spot where the light's hitting it. Make it a little brighter. And there you go. You've got your sphere. And next, if you want to... Uh, you crop the image, you can do that, crop it, use the crop tool, and uh, let's see, we want to hit enter, and then to make the background different from the sphere we want to make it white right now white is selected it's our active foreground color and what we want to do is do a control i 
and then get our paintbrush. Go back here, click on that to our, oops. Right click it. Okay, we're going to right click it and with the paintbrush. And uh, the hardness right now is set pretty high. Looks pretty good. Let's see. Wait, I'm going to go over here to this. Let's check. Click on that. Okay. All right. Now that. I think in order to enlarge this now, if I hit right bracket key, yeah, use the right bracket key to make it larger. Or if you go over here to size, go a lot faster if you'll do this. Okay, now right now it's set on white, and so we're going to paint out that background area. that now we go to file and let's just export that as we'll give it a name I'm going to send it to the desktop and I'm going to call the uh, well we have a name already we'll stick with that Charlotte segment because it's taken in Charlotte I'll just give it a, add a letter to it Segment A, okay, and then we'll export it to the desktop. And I want it at the highest quality. And again, click export. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to just go ahead and minimize this for right now. Let's take a look at what we've exported. And there it is. Have a great day.